welcome to the free up uh, the free up uh, is a show that uh, gather um, African women to talk about our lives our social life our sexuality and uh, all sort of uh, social issues uh, we are surrounded with so today I have invited my girlfriends this is Mireille Hi. Uh, this is Samantha uh, I'm also Samantha, so yeah. Two Samantha. Each <laughs> Samantha's. So this is uh, Dali, uh, and then we are in the beautiful city Kigali. Uh, this week uh, uh, we've been um, we hosted in Rwanda the Global Agenda Summit, and my friend Mireille uh, has attended. I think she should tell us more about uh, what's going on and. Um, how was it? Yes, so the Global Gender Summit was a very nice summit, which was uh, attended by more, uh, more than uh, 1,500 people, many important people. Important? Yeah, presidents, former presidents, and uh, different people from schools, from the youth, different kind of people. And uh, it, was, it had different sessions of um, reflecting on different things like uh, actually all kinds of aspects like uh, fashion, economics, women in leadership, the um, contribution of men in helping women. So it was a very interesting uh, um, summit, which I had uh, learned a lot of things from it. Okay. So it was very interesting oh, and nice. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So I think in Rwanda we should be very proud of uh, ourselves because yeah. We should. Yeah. Our, in our leadership positions, like in our parliament, for example, we have uh, more than more than sixty-four. More than yeah, sixty-four yeah. percent. Yeah, women okay. in parliament. Oh. Yes. That's so awesome. that's that's a very good step, mm -hmm. as uh, our country, and we are so grateful for that because uh, women, their mothers, sisters, wives. So, in that case, they, they talk for all of us, for women, for children, for. Uh, husbands for the, I mean, in general. So we are grateful. We all gained, as uh, the president Kagame says, when women gain. Yeah. We all gain. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's true. Uh, so, uh, what does uh, gender equality means to you? What does it mean? As uh, you, as Mireille, how do you understand gender equality? So. Yes. Just to that first, fair enough. <laughs> to that treatment. Okay. okay. So, um, personally, me, basically, gender equality, when they say gender equality, for me, it's like um, believing that what a man can do, a woman can do too. So, not actually um, disrespecting men as women, but respecting them and them respecting us as well. And then, um, uh, for me, it's like uh, valuing each other, because everyone has his weakness, women has weakness, men has weakness and strength, and then to, to collaborate together, to work together, and then um, to build the something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Isn't it a meat? <laughs> no. A meat? Yeah, as in, um, I know in Rwanda, um, we are lucky we have a very supportive government, but is it really, let's say, um, at workplace, is it really like women, they are valued or they are treated the same way as men? Yes, I, I, can, I, I can assure that. Because um, me, as Samantha, I work in the aviation industry. and uh, Which is oh, an industry dominated by men. By men, men. men. yeah, exactly. Yeah. But um, because of the, as you say, the, the supportive government that we have, I got a chance to, to, to work there. Not because uh, it's not a chance. I deserve it because mm -hmm. I, uh, I believe in me. I have that confidence and that I do everything that my supervisor, who is a man, and my boss, who is a man, can do. So it's not, it's not a need. I can assure you that. Mm -hmm. So um, how was... Uh, um Rwandan society 
how was it before or this new era we are in of empowering women? How was what was the place of a woman in, in the past? Like, um, talking about our mothers, mm -hmm. how were they living like us, uh, or were they getting the same chances? Like now you are in aviation, were they like benefiting from the society as we are now witnessing with this? I don't think they were truly benefiting. They didn't have equal chances as uh, their fellow brothers. And um, they couldn't, as in, the, the, only, the only opinion about a woman was a woman is supposed to be a housewife, taking care of kids, and nothing about that. So they used to say, if you have a husband, if you have kids, there's nothing you can do, there's nothing else. But for now, we can study, we can work, we can... As in, it's the not housewives that they they talk about. Yeah, yeah. You 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 after work you take care of your your, your kids and yeah. your husband. Mm. So I can say it was this was a way of expressing our our energy as women that we can do also things that men do. So they didn't have that chance, but um, thanks God we got that chance. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we are using it very well. Because you're here. I mean, <laughs> people, <laughs> they are looking at us, you know? Yeah. So that's a, I can say it's a good state. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Do you have uh, anything to say, Tali? Um, what I would say, I'm sorry if I sound a bit um, pessimistic I don't know. or harsh, <laughs> but let's not, um, let's not um, lie to ourselves. Is it hap what is happening in uh, rural areas? Um, me as Dali, I can say yes. I have my own um, apartment. I live. I can go. Um, we can have this girls' night out. But what about those rural areas? Or oh, uh, they are women. They are girls, especially. They have dreams, they have... Um, Do they have dreams? Aspirations? Exactly. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say it's 100%, but for now, people, as in um, girls in rural areas, uh, a very obvious example is that they've started having um, a basic education, like the nine-year basic education. They've been studying, they've been working, so it's not 100% everywhere, but it's pretty growing every, t every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there is uh, something um, that was going on recently, like there was a, an awareness, uh, mostly in South Africa, like women, I think they were marching or something, like uh, gender, uh, women being beaten in their homes, yeah. Yeah. like women being raped. Um, yeah. So uh, is it the same in our society? Like, okay, before, how was it if you have uh, how was it and then how is it uh, today um, mm, well because um, we in many african countries uh, like where i grew up mm -hmm. back in the days um, a man who doesn't beat his wife would be mocked by uh, yeah. by his fellows his buddies yeah. would say That's what right. you don't beat her That's <laughs> bullshit yeah. uh, you should like Give her a slap or two, you know, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, in the, there, there is a saying in Arabs, uh, there they say, just beat your wife if she, if you don't, even if you don't know why you are beating her, <laughs> she knows. Why and some, and <laughs> there's some countries that say that uh, <laughs> if your man doesn't beat you, it means he doesn't lo love you. But yeah. What does that mean? I don't know what. <laughs> For real? <laughs> so how is it now? How was it before and then how is it now? How, how this gender uh, equality has, uh, I don't know, has it changed anything about that? Yes, I think so. Uh, well, we, we can't lie that that happened um, in our country. Uh, men used to beat women. I think even now it happens. I, I'm not sure about that, but I think it happens. But the gender equality has changed. Like, it has changed people people's mind they 
they now understand that is um, there any law enforcement about protecting women yes of, of course. course there is a no, law uh, the, the, but the thing is the article mm -hmm. but the law is there yeah. the law is there and mm -hmm. it's very effective let's say today i have my fiance or let's call it my husband mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he has paid the dowry we are in you know we live together let's say we went out I'm having my wine or my whatever. He's drinking. Let's get at home. We have a fight. Mm -hmm. And let's say he slapped me. Mm -hmm. um, do you Wh why think... Did he, why did you... Why, why no. did he slap you? Like, I can get jealous. Yeah. Uh -huh. He can be twerking with, you know, and uh -huh. whining on some other girl or woman. And I'm no, just you like, can, you can, uh, I can you become can very jealous. Coming some, in. Exactly. Yeah, no. <laughs> that sex. You you slap me like he slapped me. Uh -huh. Do you think I will just go and say hi? Um, I know there's this um, a special um, unity in police mm -hmm. uh, called gender-based violence, and yes. they are really like effective. They will put that man in jail without even any like they will directly. I heard mm -hmm. it's, uh, again, it's twenty years uh, in jail. Yeah, twenty or. 15 something mm -hmm. but do you think that's too much for us in our mm -hmm. tradition mm -hmm. i will have the the guts to call the police hey my husband beat me up the first thing i will just think oh if i have children oh now next more like in the morning will i say um yes your dad is in jail because you know this shit happened mm -hmm. i don't think we have that mindset Yet. Yet, yeah. Yes, then in case if you don't have that mindset, mm -hmm. at least uh, sit and talk, you know. For what purpose? I I'm mean, going to, to tell my life, my private life to... No, 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 I mean sit and talk to your husband, talk to him, like why did you slap me? Is it because mm -hmm. I'm I was jealous? It, it, uh, yes, exactly, oh, that's no, where... See, so see, I see the pride in you guys. <laughs> No, it shouldn't be like that, you know, the gender equality is supposed to, to unite you guys, your, your, the, the husband and the wife. So if there is any problem between you guys, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not really good to go and the, the first step you, you, you make is to go to the police and tell them, you know, my husband uh, has slapped me, no, 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 let's first sit and talk to him. Because if you, then if he doesn't want you to to approach you, then that's the the second step you make. You know, do I make sense? Yeah, that, that's what do. I think. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm not yet married. No, guys. No, <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> I'm not yet married, but that's what I think. Yeah. So that means women get still. Uh, they still get beaten sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, but. Uh, I May I have a question for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are always saying uh, we are equal to men and we can do anything that men can do. Nothing. But in our Rwandan culture, are we um, women? Um, we pretend to be? No. Mm. Are we free to ask a guy out? For example, let's say we meet and say, <laughs> hey, hey, you, I like you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Give me your number. <laughs> yeah, because we are right? always like, oh yeah, yeah, we want this, we want this, we, we are able, we can do this. But uh, let's flip to the other side of. Yeah. Honestly speaking, no. 